Well, you know, everybody gets into the Christian music business the same way. You know, God drags them in, uh, typically. Uh, you either wake up, you know, with a voice that everyone wants to hear and your, your pastor in music says, hey, man, you are talented, you're gifted, you're anointed. You've got to go minister to people, head to Nashville. And that usually happens in their later teenage years or high school or early college. And that didn't happen to me at all. Um, I can't sing a tune or, or play a tune or hit a note in any way. So uh, God obviously had a sense of humor putting me in a place of responsibility in Christian music. My background came from going through medical school. Uh, that's what got me prepared for the music business. I guess the more I get to know God in my personal life, uh, the more I begin to see the humor in his will. Um, he calls people to do things that are completely dramatically different than what we think God's called us to do. And I'm no different than, uh, say, Saul, who became a Paul, or Jacob, who became Israel. I used to be a doctor. Uh, I guess technically I still am. Uh, I did have a practice for many years in central Illinois. And I was a chiropractor who went on to medical training in Florida, University of Florida Medical School in Orthopedics. And I taught and practiced for almost a decade in private practice. Uh, six and a half years ago, when my marriage was pretty much toast, and my life was a mess. Uh, God got a hold of my heart and I became a born again believer. And when that happened, I began to look at my life differently. I started to think of things from God's perspective, to actually go and inquire of Him before I made decisions. And God led me through a series of very specific events to the Nashville area uh, and took advantage of my background in business, which I had slowly built as a practicing doctor in investing in entertainment companies. So as I'm investing in entertainment companies and uh, getting to know the music world from a business point of view, God had a hold of my heart. So he connected those two about six years ago in Nashville and I got involved in executive management of distribution.